In this video, I'm going to be installing this fuel injection kit into this Volkswagen Beetle. Yes folks, you heard that correctly. I bought a fuel injection kit for this Beetle off classicfuelinjection.co.uk. So they provide a complete comprehensive kit essentially of all of the stuff that I need to convert this from the Weber carburetors that I have in it to fuel injection, including Max ECU, uh, Mini ECU, and it comes with Gen V throttle bodies. And I'll be talking you through all of those parts as we go. But to answer the first question, why am I doing this? Well, I just find carburetors, there's too many compromises, especially with these Weber carburetors, which even when they're tuned really well, and to be honest with you, they are tuned really well, they, there's, there's things like cold starting is a pain in the face with them. There's, uh, in the past, there have been flat spots and there's been blocked jets and all of this kind of stuff. And yes, I got the carburetors tuned by Ben Lawrence and he did a fantastic job. But the problem is, is that I kind of made a mess of them myself in the past, uh, uh, following advice I really shouldn't have followed. And to be honest with you, it would be difficult to reverse the changes that I made to them to get them back to stock. And even if I do, there's going to be a lot of issues with them. So rather than spending the money on maybe get, uh, replacing the, the IDF carburetors with uh, new IDFs or whatever, or, you know, trying to get them running and still having all of those compromises, I said, you know what, I want to try the EFI thing. To be honest with you, I want to try it just as much out of interest and um, curiosity. And plus, I know that there's not going to be any compromises in this. There's going to be a uh, an awful lot of setting up. There's going to be a lot of kind of tuning and stuff like that but when it's tuned correctly the fuel injection kit will be transformative on this car so everything from cold starting idling low speed traffic driving all of those kind of things to uh, max uh, you know full bore driving when you're accelerating hard all of those kind of things will be uh, will be perfect and i won't settle for anything now, uh, other than perfection in this instance the kit was not the cheapest in the world um so yeah, I'm going to talk you through the kit first of all, and then I'm going to talk you through what we actually have to do to the car to prepare it. So that I'm not limited for space, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lay out the fuel injection kit components on the floor of the garage here, just uh, so that we can get a quick look at them. And then what we'll do is we'll talk through each individual component. So the first thing is the custom wiring harness, which is here. Now this is specific for a Volkswagen Beetle. And to be honest with you, it's a very nice bit of kit. So what we have is, we have a fuse and relay box and connection for the ECU and we have our connection for the uh, idle control uh, module and then there's various connections for the engine which we'll be going through as we're uh, as we're kind of installing the kit now it's set up in this instance so that it goes up around the uh, the, the ECU will actually go under the back seat and these wires will come up over the kind of the the bulkheads into the, over the rear wheel arches and into the inside of the car. Now here's the brains of the operation. This is the ECU. It's a Max ECU, um, and it's a uh, the model is it's a Max ECU Mini. And then we also have our Lambda probe as well in there, and there's various other little sensors. Again, we'll go through them all in detail. We have Gen V throttle bodies, and these are where your fuel injectors are going to mount and these are what are going to replace the carburetors so they will uh the, this one has for example it has the throttle position sensor on it my existing throttle linkage and manifolds are what are going to be used in this instance and we have various bits of hardware uh that's our ignition amplifier we have uh, fuel rails and other little bits of hardware there as well so that's the uh, throttle bodies next we have our idle air control valve and uh, that basically meters the amount of air going into the engine when it's idling to give it a stable idle. We have our fuel pump. We have uh, high pressure fuel is needed for a fuel injection system and the fuel injectors uh, basically get supplied with this high pressure fuel from this pump and when, they, when the solenoid in them opens that will uh, allow for a good atomization of the fuel into the inlet of the engine and that's uh, that's where that comes from and then there's other things like there's you gave, gave me a reel of fuel hose there's a little air filter for the uh the idle air control valve fuel filter there uh, that is 
a fuel pressure regulator, a very comprehensive manual, which is nice, and more hose and stuff like that. So all of this is basically what's going to be going into the car. Right, so let's look at the, some of the pieces in more detail. So this is the ECU here, uh, Max ECU Mini, as I said. And I mean, there's really nothing to see with this. You, you have your mass air pressure probe there and your electrical connector there and all the brains are inside it. And we also have a USB port on it as well, which is how we're going to program it. This is our idle control module. And then we have our air temperature sensor, which we need to find a location for. USB cable. This is our trigger kit for the distributor, and that's probably one of the first things we're going to be installing on the car. Fuel injectors, kind of important. This is going to be our coolant temperature sensor. Now you'll see the way they've installed a ring terminal on this, simply because of the fact that obviously the air is the coolant, so we're going to be using cylinder head temperature for the Beetle. And I'm probably going to install that on one of the studs that holds the intake manifold on. And another USB cable, it's an extension cable. An air freshener, vitally important. A USB key with software and manuals on it. So we're gonna have a look at that in a little while. Um, key ring, also vitally important. And stickers. These are things that we really, really need. I'm not being sarcastic, I actually do really like that. So there's all the bits there to come in with the ECU. And uh, that's gonna be, I'm gonna actually leave that out because that's gonna be the first thing we're going to attack and there's our fuel injectors sensors so i just kind of bundled all them up together and in this bag is our lambda probe and its associated gubbins which is the that's basically the interface between the lambda probe and the ecu so that'll be something we'll be installing as well now because i have a vintage speed exhaust it already has the bosses for the Lambda Probe in it, so we don't have too much to do in that regard. So, that's all good. As I said, it is a comprehensive kit, so we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna have a look at see what is in the Gen V kit. So Gen V make throttle bodies for all sorts of different cars, but these ones are intended to replace the IDFs. And you can see here in more detail, there's basically, your throttle butterflies are in there. And you have these uh, ports here, which are for your idle air. And then these are where the fuel injectors will go. And then the fuel rails will clip, will bolt onto these. And then our existing manifold, our existing linkage and existing air filter will all fit onto these. And these basically take the space of the Weber carburetors. So that's, uh, that's that. Fuel rail, as I said, I showed you that. Um, and then, uh, so obviously we've got two of them. That is our ignition amplifier. This will need to be mounted onto, I'd say I'll probably put that on the fan shroud and what that'll do is it'll actually keep it nice and cool. That's that. Uh, various hose clips. Uh, another sticker, which is great. And uh, more fasteners and O-rings, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what comes in that box. Okay, so in here we have our fuel pressure regulator and this is going to be determining how much fuel gets sent to the injectors versus how much fuel goes back to the tank. Um, basically, we'll be opening that at some point or another anyway. You'll see it in, as part of the process. There is our idle air control valve. So there'll be a little uh, filter will go on there and then our idle air control will go on there. Uh, the pipe work, I mean. And then this is our fuel pressure pump. So again, we have a uh, Fuel, barb, uh, fuel pipe barbs in here, which we're going to be using. And uh, that's basically that. And it comes with a suitable uh, bracket to hold it on. And I'm gonna be installing that under the bonnet of the car. So we're gonna put them in the box there, leave them up there. And then we'll have a look at the harness now. The harness is a particularly nice bit of kit in this whole, this whole thing, I have to say. Like here is, this is gonna be under the back seat, all of this section of the wiring, okay? So if I take this off, there's fuses and relays in there. So we have two relays. Um, one I'd imagine is for the fuel pump and the other one's probably for the ECU itself. And we have four fuses in it as well. And then there are actually spares, which we can use at a later stage if we decide to add something on. Like for example, if I added an external oil cooler with a fan on it, 
I could have the ECU actually control that. Uh, there's the connector for the ECU. That's the connector for the idle air control valve. This is the lambda module connector. Uh, see, there, most of them are labeled. Uh, so that's lambda module. This is for the fuel pump. Now, I'm going to be uh, having to extend them because of the fact that the uh, fuel pump is going to be located under the bonnet and uh, that's just not going to be long enough. But that's all right. That's only, that's only a minor detail. So coming around here, this will be the wiring that will go over the left side of the car. So we have trigger sensor. That is going to be for our distributor connection coolant temperature so yeah you know uh, you know how that works i explained that ignition coil and then uh, air temp sensor idle valve the idle valve would be in the bonnet uh, in under the bonnet cylinders three and four and the ignition module so that's all uh, that's all good there and then on the other side we have a little bit less wiring we have just got the two injectors and our throttle position sensor which will be on that uh, that particular throttle body and then these are the power supply connections one goes to the starting motor ring terminal and the other one goes to the gearbox now you don't necessarily have to attach them that way i may end up actually just using the the, the battery connections not sure yet we still have to kind of figure that out as we go so uh, yeah again wiring harness is all good to go and uh, as i said the only thing i need to do is to extend out that fuel pump connection so uh, again not a major problem so the kit was expensive i mean to be honest with you it looks it even when you see all the bits and pieces laid out on the, the bench there but it's it, to me it's going to be absolutely transformative in the car and I just want to be able to get out and drive this car in all weathers. I want to be able to get in, turn the key and it start, even if it's lashing snow out or something like that. And I'm in the mood to drive a Beetle in that kind of weather. Probably won't because of the fact that the heaters are still going to be muck. But <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't want to have to think about the fuel system anymore. And there's been so many times that the, the carburetors have just left me uh, disappointed in how the car performs for a long time to be honest with you the amount of times the, the weber carburetors end up with blocked jets or just a flat spot between going between the idle and mains or something like that or just not idling correctly or been an absolute mare to start in cold weather or this that and the other and i'm, I'm done with it i'm absolutely done with it now i know i don't expect everybody's going to pay the kind of money i paid for this i think it actually worked out as being about 2800 euro by the time you pay import charges and everything. Thank you very much, Brexit. I really appreciate that one again. But uh, yeah, aside from all of that, um, it is, uh, yeah, so it, it has, it is expensive. Is it worth it? Well, we're going to find out and I'm going to make damn sure it is worth it.